month long, KBU has been celebrating Black History Month with a series of stories on the impacts African Americans have made to our community. Tonight, we are rounding out our series with a look at the achievements Black Texans have made at our state capitol. Welcome to the Texas State Capitol. This is a busy place. Filled with people always on the go fighting for a seat at the table, so it can be easy to walk past and forget the trailblazers. They kind of get written out of history. Amanda Stridmatter is the lead tour guide at the Capitol. To celebrate Black History Month, she and other guides give the African American trailblazing Texans tour. It's very important to remember that all of the important points of Texas history, the first exploration, the Texas Revolution, uh, all of these involved African Americans. And that includes the legislature. News of the Emancipation Proclamation came to Texas on June 19, 1865. Three years later, Later, 10 African Americans were elected to the Texas Constitution Convention, creating a constitution that gave black men the right to vote. So when the 12th Texas legislature met in 1870, there were black lawmakers. There's actually a fair number of them and they're able to enact a few changes. But they couldn't change the rise of Jim Crow and the Capitol you see today was built on the backs of black men. We didn't actually pay money for this original capital. We traded land to a group of investors and part of that deal was that they would be able to use convict labor here in Texas to help keep the costs of building the capital down. A lot of these folks are people who were arrested on largely trumped up charges from the Jim Crow era. In 1897, Robert Lloyd Smith was the last African American lawmaker until 1966. We can't talk about African Americans in Texas without talking about Barbara Jordan. The great great granddaughter of one of the last black legislators of the 1800s became the first black woman elected to the Texas Senate. Barbara Jordan and two black men broke a 69 year drought of no African American lawmakers in the Lone Star State. Six years later, the first black women are elected to the Texas House. Eddie Bernice Johnson, who is now a congresswoman, and Sinfronia Thompson. In my 45 years serving in the Texas House, I witnessed all kinds of politics. <laughs> the longest serving African American and longest serving woman in the Texas legislature's history is still in office today at 80 years young. You know, God didn't touch Abraham, uh, Moses until he was 80 years old and leave the children out of Israel. Following her calling hasn't always been easy. When Thompson first came into office, it was a different time for women. Couldn't even have a credit card. Not even from Macy's or Pennies. You could own a credit card, even if you had your own money. And even in this room, discrimination and misogyny reared their ugly heads. They were not ready for women. When I first got here, I, there was a colleague who I, I barely knew who he was. He called me his black mistress, and he thought it was something that was complimentary. But you know, in our culture, that was a great, great put down. Thompson gave a speech on the floor that became a part of history. I had to tell them that I was a duly elected member of this body and that I was demanding respect and they must respect me as I was going to have to take matters in my own hands. Miss T, as she's affectionately called, a living piece of black history, still working because she says there is much more to fight for under this majestic dome to ensure all Texans have a seat at the table. If you want to learn more, the African American Trailblazing Texans tour is still being offered until February 28th. For tour times, just look for this story on KVU.com. Thanks, Thanks Ashley. Ashley. I love Ms. T. Yeah, she's a strong woman. <laughs> 80 she... years old, too, mm -hmm. still going strong. Still I wouldn't want to mess with her, no. I wouldn't. All right.